This isn't even worth your all. Nope. What's up guys, welcome to another video. First thing we have to do is move this out of the garage because we're gonna pull in everybody's favorite project. The Turbo Ford 240Z. We we're gonna fix that in tandem with getting the Jeep running and while well, both motors are on the stand, we're gonna paint this. So uh, we're probably gonna be hitting almost daily uploads next month. Let's just get right into it. All right guys, honestly, we have no idea if the Datsun's even going to start because it's been, how long? I have no idea, a long time. A few months, um, I know I say it all the time, but if you're new here um, and you haven't seen this, it's an abomination. It's a 2.3 Ford uh, H -E or HE351 uh, whole set diesel turbo. I guess let's see if it starts. Hey, don't break it. I know you like to break things. <laughs> Alright! Fuck yeah! I guess let's hook up, the GoPro. Me. hook up the GoPro and go around the block and bring it yeah. back, put it in the garage. Yeah. Yeah, we got some plans for it. We're gonna put um, we're gonna put a big old wing on the back. We're gonna make it a little bit wider. We're gonna put some diamond racing. Uh, I want to say 16 by 10s front and back. We're not staggering. <laughs> it still drives and it's still absolutely ridiculous. Oh Jesus Christ! I can see why you guys like the thing. I can also see why some of you guys hate it. Interesting car, but <laughs> if everything else works great and the Porsche does, and we have a new daily, we could literally just make this. I don't know, just absolutely ridiculous. To, you know, make it have no point. So we're gonna pull the engine today, and then um, I don't know how good you guys can see us because the lighting's behind us at this point. But then we got a lot of plans for the body. Um, we gotta make it wider. We gotta put different wheels on it. We're gonna do um, uh, adjustable coilover suspension. We're gonna put the biggest wing that's ever been put on a Datsun on it. It's going to be uh, the channel ridiculous car. And um, yep. after the wheels and suspension, it's gotta go on the dyno because it probably makes a shit ton of power. I got fucking candy crumbs all over me now. I don't know, let's just, I shouldn't put that there. No, it that's gonna melt now and get all over everything. Let's just start to turn out this motor in an hour because it's way too hot yeah, to talk. It's a billion degrees at the moment. I forgot we spray painted it LOL on the intercooler. <laughs> it looks pretty good with uh, no hood. Should just leave it like this in the future. We did for a long time. What's your opinion on that? You think we get pulled over more often? A little bit. We been, you know, we have registered. We haven't gotten pulled over. So basically, all we have to do is take off things that are going to prevent us from. Uh, Removing the engine, like this side of the intake, the turbo, and the coolant hoses. The fuel rail has two parts to disconnect, and uh, the alternator, and then we should just be able to pick this up with the cherry picker. Um, should we get it done in just a couple of hours, if that? This, this the motor is insanely easy to take in and out. Yeah, you Not guys can talk lot. shit all you want about this engine, and you do, and some of you are very passionate about the fact that this is in here, but you can't argue with us that it is extremely easy to work on. So simple. So much room. Not a lot to it. Those fucking room. Car's on stands now and we are taking out the transmission. Uh, easy enough. Just gotta drain it. And uh, pull it out the bottom. Well, 
All right guys, we started at 10, it's 10.30 and we're about halfway done. And uh, I want you guys to take a look at our slave cylinder genius. Uh, this car originally had a, um, uh, what was it? A cable. Cable, but you know, we had to convert it and the uh, best way to do that is with 400 zip ties. And it worked great. When in doubt, zip ties, Devin. Yeah, tons of zip ties. Now we're taking apart the hot side of the engine. That's the turbo and the Chinese manifold that is coming off. This is the area of our problems with the ignition. It is melting wires. We just had a confirmed other wire melted. So we're gonna take this off. We got more robust wires in the future and we might do something to move this turbo just a little bit further from the engine. It's going to crack. Don't use China man, folks. It's going to crack. Within the first hundred miles, mine cracks. Whatever. It's not broken yet. It's not broken yet. It's exceeding my expectations. I'm happy with it. It was $80. Yeah. Oh, you want me to film this, dude? This alternator montage? <laughs> So after the alternator's off, uh, we're pulling her out. Then we're gonna eat lunch, because uh, it's about noon. No, it's not even noon, it's 11.30. You know what actually took about just as long as <laughs> removing the entire transmission? It's taking off the turbo because of one bolt. Yep. And that'll happen sometimes, but we're past that now. We've moved on and we're ready to pick the engine. I turned it off because <laughs> we, needed, was, a, we, need, we needed to out. focus and it was embarrassing. We have a point in which it lifts vertically out, so we had to get my brother out here and he jacked that up and moved it back. Well, we lifted it, and swung it over. Yeah, we lifted the back of the engine over this. We took off the radiator so it wouldn't smash it. And uh, it's there, lesson learned, make a triangle, put the yoke on or keep the transmission on and lift it like that because it wants to come out vertically. But the engine's out and what time is it? I don't know, like... Do we just... Is it lunchtime? It's, yeah, it's past lunchtime. It's 12.50. 12.50. Food. We started at 10, so... Not bad. Under three hours. I'd say long day, but it really wasn't. Didn't take too long, a little frustrating, but... We did this so we could build both these engines at the same time. That one is built, but it needs to be repaired. And this is kind of like a ground up thing. Yeah. Um, they don't take up all that much space in the garage. So. Have, we, have we talked about this at all? No, not really. We picked this up in like nowhere, in the middle of nowhere. Yep. Um, it's got 100,000 miles, I think. And uh, at that point, these Jeep straight sixes are basically indestructible, unless of course there's no oil in them. So I think we're not even gonna we're not even gonna go get it, you know, to the machine shop or anything like that. We're gonna see the bottom end and make sure that's all good. But we're gonna slap a head and fuel injection on this thing and put it in the Jeep. That's the plan. Yeah, and then that that Jeep will finally be fuel injected, not have to uh, deal with the graveyard of carburetors, and hopefully actually work. This just needs a leak fixed, and maybe we'll do distributorless ignition like the Porsche. That would be cool, and uh, we can work on these in tandem with doing the body work on the Porsche because like Devin just said they don't take up a lot of space so we asked you guys what you want us to do we're just gonna do everything yep why not film it okay that's gonna wrap this one up um, if you guys aren't subscribed now is a good time because like we just explained we're going to be doing a lot of stuff yeah a whole lot of stuff all sorts of different projects back and forth it'll be a little bit sporadic but we'll try and keep it kind of scheduled and we'll go into as much detail as we can about getting plates on the Porsche without incriminating ourselves. So uh, that should be fun. And then we had a subscriber donate a uh, HKS sequential blow-off valve. Uh, we'll, we'll look into using that where we can. Um, in addition to that, Jeep's going to be on the road probably in a few weeks. This isn't a difficult motor to build and uh, we've, we've dealt with things like that before. We have most of the parts and the Datsun should be back soon too. And uh, 
Yeah, well, lots of fun stuff. At the on. same time, we're gonna do our own paint job on the Porsche. Um, factory gold, and then we're getting it wrapped. So, yeah, lots of stuff. Devin's gonna go ahead and pick a winner for this video's giveaway. If you guys are not familiar with the channel, we give away products from BoostedShades.com every single video. I'm not gonna say this correct at all, but this video's winner is Hasu Mani. Okay, you can hit us up at Team Boosted at BoostedShades.com or through any of our social media platforms, and we will get back to you and ship you a prize. If you guys want to win, all you have to do is like, subscribe, comment, and um, sometimes we ask you guys things, but any comment is eligible. Uh, now that the four cylinder is out of the Datsun, we have had the thought, obviously, of what else could go in there, and we know a lot of you guys do not like the four cylinder, so if you could have any choice of engine to go back in the Datsun, what would it be? You could drop that in the comments. Um, other than that, like, subscribe, and uh, that's gonna do it for this one. As always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.